Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Guys, let's mix it up and let's do a Class A motorhome. Had this one for a little bit, but I wanted to wait till I had carpet put in it before I did a video on it. And that's done, so here we are. This is a 2008 Fleetwood Southwind. The classic, guys. It's a 32 VS. Smallest Southwind they built in 08. 33 foot long total length. This is built on a workhorse chassis. It has two slides, 70,968 miles, runs and drives great, 340 horsepower Vortec V8, beautiful full body paint, it's got a 5500 Onan gasoline generator, Allison transmission, got the big Alcoa wheels. You know, these were pretty nice motorhomes. Uh, one of the best selling motorhomes of all time is Fleetwood Southwind, and these things have been, they're making them a long time does have a nice power patio awning. I love the color scheme on that. I love blue on outside of a motorhome. I don't know why, but it just really looks good. does have the hydraulic leveling jacks, of course. Trailer hitch on the back. 5,000 pound tow capacity. Fifty amp electrical service. You can see slide topper. Man, look how slick that finish is. This thing, I think, has been kept under cover most of us, or a lot of his life. I can't imagine one still looking like that, you know, this age, if it's been stored outside. I mean, just look how slick that is. How shiny. I mean, this is a... Uh... And believe me, I wish I had somebody here. I could keep the manpower to buff and wax every single one of them, but I can't, so this is just how it came in. Now, we did put brand new carpet in it because after 70,000 miles and, you know, 14 years, it was in need of some. Um, got a driver's side escape door, which, you know, yeah, they're nice to have, but let me tell you, you try to climb in and out of that driver's side door on a Class A, it's an emergency exit, guys. It's not comfortable at all to get in and out of. It's a lot easier just to turn around and you see and go out the side entry door. Windshields look great. Just good old classic Fleetwood and uh, motorhome right here, guys. 32 VS, 8.1 Vortec. Got the power platform, which gives you more uh, pass-through storage in the belly without making it uh, too tall on the roof. And let's step up. And I've got it plugged in. Air conditioner running. Cooling it off good. That new carpet looks awesome, awesome. Got a carpet guy for at least for now. I mean, got a couple little uh, things about it. Um, I'll need to point out a couple of cosmetic flaws. But it, again, guys, it's an 08, 70,000 miles. And even with the cosmetic flaws, it's way under book. I'm thousands underneath the NADA retail just adjusting for the miles. Backup camera works. TV up here looks like the original television. It does have the seven foot tall ceiling height. Uh, one flaw, which is very common because your slide wall was right here. It's caught the seat a few times. So back of the driver's side seat, got a few little booger spots on it, but that's just part of a, that's that's pretty, pretty much all of them guys, if you look. So you gotta make sure that seat's all the way up before you bring that slide in or out. Do have all leather furniture. This is that really nice soft leather flex steel. Uh, you've got a sleeper sofa. Table booth makes a bed, so it is a six sleeper. I mean, the cabinets in here look great. Um, oh, one other thing. The previous owner either tore it off or removed it. This cabinet front right there, I don't know why. Um, I actually found, they had actually taken the, the little slide out trays out and I found them under the bed so I stuck them back in there. So I don't know if they had something custom that fit in right there, I don't know, but letting you know about it. I cannot find the cabinet front, so it's gonna be sold like that. Beautiful Corian countertops, no cracks, all the sink covers, stove top covers are here. Space maker convection oven, plus your regular oven. Plenty of lighting in here. You got a skylight in here in the uh, kitchen area. No smoke or pet odors. 
uh, refrigerator freezer since it was plugged in I turned it on yesterday when he was doing carpet and uh, it's ice cold refrigerator and freezer <coughs> and it is a 12 cubic foot which is an option in 2008 it wasn't standard so when they whoever bought this thing new paid a few thousand extra or a couple thousand extra for this refrigerator and freezer and it's clean ice maker feels good really <laughs> airs feel good it's got double ducted roof airs 13,500 btu units single thermostat right here there is your uh battery monitor tank levels energy management system i'm going to step toward the back and this is only a medium sized class a this isn't what i would call a huge one by no means 33 feet two inches that's nothing bathroom enclosed on the side shower looks great skylight looks great um porcelain rv toilet a little hair dryer somebody left in here for you fantastic vent fan for the steam from your hot shower not bad that's one way to keep your uh, glass door from sliding when you drive hey, never uh never underestimate the value of a good set of bungee cords in an rv guys that's <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but uh, uh, bungee cores are a necessity in, in my, any RV I've ever owned. Here in the back, uh, you've got a television, big closet over here, good airflow back here. I mean, even little things like the crown molding in the back. You've got a Queen Island bed, 60 by 80 Queen Island bed. This is a residential size queen. And of course, you can still use it when the slide out is in. You do have a solid sliding door for privacy. And, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty roomy for, a, for this size motorhome. Both front seats swivel around for party seating. You do have a little flip out table right here for extra eating space or use for a desk or whatever you need to use it for i love the colors in here guys i mean i know it's a little different colors than what you'd see on like a 2022 model but i like the classics not that i'd ever consider an 08 a classic but it's still got modernness and classic colors all this is the year that you get kind of both This unit is 499, way under book. You can look up NADA if you want to. Um, financing's available with approved credit and down payment. We at 499 to keep our prices down, as most of y'all know. We guarantee we do a, a inspection that includes the following systems. And if we find an issue with these systems, we, we fix them at no additional cost to you. We make sure both air conditioners blow ice cold, which I've got them on right now. They're blowing cold. Uh, we guarantee the slides to work. We guarantee the generator to run and put out like it's supposed to. We guarantee the water systems, which includes water heater. and does have a 10-gallon DSI water heater, by the way, which includes a water heater and the water pump. We make sure, and then your plumbing lines. We make sure, you know, you don't have drips or leaks anywhere, anything like that as far as water uh, systems concerned. Uh, we do check those and fix them if there's a problem. And we do check the refrigerator and freezer, which I know it works, it's ice cold, no problems there. And uh, the steps, which make sure they work, which they do. And we make sure it goes down the road like it's supposed to, you know, as far as shifting and stopping and, and all that good stuff, guys. And, um, you know, we drove it several hundred miles back, so it must be a pretty good one. All of that for only 49.9 plus applicable sales tax no fees you know here's the thing guys a lot of y'all don't take into account the fees that other dealers charge they can be a few hundred dollars if you're lucky they can be a few thousand dollars if you're not dock fees prep fees processing fees freight fees destination fees happy camper fees franchise fees corporate fees whatever you want to call them guys are nothing but dealer profit 
Uh, the only fee we have to charge, of course, is applicable sales tax plus the sales price. And we also, uh, if you're a Georgia resident and Georgia residents only, you have to pay $100 highway impact fee, $40 to $50 tag and title fee, and that's Georgia residents only. Out of state, don't worry about that. And, um, you know, we have nationwide delivery if you need it. It's $1.50 a loaded mile. Guys, that is a bargain if you need delivery. You're not going to find anybody else that'll do that. And plus, we only charge one way. We don't charge for the return trip. So, and so let's just say, for instance, it, you, you live five, you want to deliver 500 miles away, even though it's a thousand mile round trip for us, we only charge you for the $500. So it would be uh, uh, $750, and that's paying fuel, my driver, and everything. So. That's us paying my fuel and my driver and hotel room if needed and, and, and stuff like that. So, And if you're interested in delivery, give us a call, uh, but just figure $1.50 a mile. It's pretty simple, but if you want to know the delay or how long it's going to take to get it to you, ask one of my salespeople. Call 706-965-7929. Uh, there's two or three lights in here I just noticed that are burned out. Little LED lights. So. You know, like I said, I leave that Mickey Mouse stuff like that to you to keep our prices down. If you want to pay, if you want to pay another six, seven grand for the retail price of it, and pay almost sixty grand for it, we will do a full retail inspection. But you can't have your cake and eat it too. Considering how lower our prices are than everybody else's, and compared to the NADA, you know, I, I leave the light bulbs to you or that cabinet front to you or the back of that seat to you. That's Mickey Mouse stuff that any used RV is gonna have. We cover the major stuff, the things that can cost you hundreds or thousands of dollars if it doesn't work. Generator, roof airs, uh, slide out systems, water systems, water heater, water pump, steps, stuff like that that really matters. You know, Mickey Mouse stuff like that, guys, you're always gonna have stuff like that to fix in any RV you buy, new or used, as part of owning one. If you're under the assumption that you'll never have to fix anything on an RV, even if you buy a brand new one, you're, you're mistaken, guys. That's just the nature of owning one. There are always going to be maintenance and repairs of some type on your RV. It doesn't matter if you buy an 06, an 08, or a 2022, or a 96. It's the same, the same idea. But anyway, guys... If you're interested in the south wind please call 706-965-7929 we have no fees we have financing available with approved credit with no dealer interest rate markup i like this seat right here it's a comfortable seat heck i'd swap this for mine <laughs> but um what i'm getting at guys we do have financing with approved credit down payment and we have no dealer interest rate markup so not only are we saving our customers thousands off the price, thousands in fees, but ah, Amber Alert things never fails. Sorry about that, guys. Not only are we saving you thousands in fees, thousands off the price compared to everybody else, but we're also saving you thousands of dollars on financing if you finance because we don't mark the rates up. You see, a lot of people don't know this, but the reason why dealers started offering financing uh was of course helped to sell more rvs which they just go through different banks i mean they don't finance them themselves you go through banks and credit unions and, but they they work out agreements with the banks they deal with and uh those agreements let the dealer mark the interest rate up over what the bank approved you for and it's 100 percent uh it's 100 percent legal may not be ethical to me it's not but it's legal um, so they can mark it up, like say they got the bank proved you for six percent. Well, the dealer can mark it up to seven, seven and a half, eight percent, eight and a half up to the up to the bank's limit, and the dealer gets to keep about 75, 80 percent of that money, that extra profit. And guys, when you're talking fifty thousand dollar loan on a long term RV loan, say ten or twelve years, it, it may only be 15 20 bucks extra a month but you add that times 120 or 144 that's a lot of money it really is and it's just giving money away 
you might as well just plop down another two or three thousand dollars um and just give it to and donate and give it to the dealership so here you go you're gonna and just and just let me have the buy rate uh, it's the same concept and here comes the upsells extended warranties gap insurance which i don't know how much of that you could get on a 08 anyway but um and most of that stuff's not worth the paper it's written on dealers make you feel like you have to have it because they got it marked up four times dealer cost they got everybody brainwashed oh you're not a true rv -er unless you get gap insurance or uh, extended warranties or tire and wheel packages roadside assistance this this and this i've had bad experience with almost all those services guys it's not worth it to me i'd rather save the money and just pay cash for when something arises you know not only are you chances are you're going to save money in the long run but you're not obligated to only take it to one place for any kind of repairs or a warranty you have to take it back to the selling dealer you can take it any place you want to go it doesn't have to be a new dealer it can be a used dealer an independent shop a mobile rv technician you're paying for it so you've got the freedom to take it to whomever and wherever you want and you can't do that with a warranty oh well, they claim you can but but nine times out of ten they're just telling you that to see the warranty you can't so um that's just something to think about guys 49.9 while it lasts if you're interested in this south wind i highly suggest calling us right away i don't think this going to last very long uh 706-965-7929 come take a look at it see what you think guys you know i do encourage you to do your own inspection on it and you can see what works and what doesn't because like i said the only thing we guarantee to work are those systems i mentioned earlier everything else is sold as is if it works it works if it it doesn't it doesn't you know it's a, it's your decision to buy it or not buy it based on what the other systems work or and which ones don't and if you can't do it yourself i do recommend a third party rv inspection service a few hundred bucks peace of mind because you know i, I do lose a sale every once in a blue moon from an rv inspector hey i get it guys that's part of it at least you know what you're getting into because I don't and you don't and I don't have the manpower or the prices to do a full inspection. You know, if I was up there with everybody else's prices, 60 grand, yeah, I could do more with it. That's an extra $10,000 I can I can spend on the unit and fix anything and everything we find and, and, and make more money. But um, there's no way I could spend that much on this coach. But I'm not going to do that, guys. Anyway... Thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. And any questions at all about the unit, how we sell them, what we check, and what we guarantee at time of sale for what you pay, call one of my salespeople. They can probably explain it a little better than I can on the video. At 706-965-7929. Feel free to comment, share on social media. Hit that subscribe button. Smash me a thumbs up. Um, I'll uh, try to get some more motorhomes done, guys. We're kind of low, really low on motorized inventory. You would think with gas prices that we would be stocked full of motorhomes, but it's actually the opposite. Honestly, I think motorhome sales in the last several weeks have just skyrocketed. Class A's, C's, and then even travel trailers. I mean, everything is just still, it, it, it's not slowed down one bit. Of course, you know, the kind of people that can go out and spend 50 grand on a toy what's a couple more hundred dollars in gas to go on vacation i mean it's not like you drive it to work every day like a car so but anyway and plus you know heck rv is not a cheap hobby guys uh, i mean buying fuel is part of it believe me I, of course heck everything i own gets 14 15 miles a gallon at best so i'm no stranger to gas pumps um but if you're interested in this south wind you got questions about it just pick up the phone give us a call make sure it's here before coming down and you may want to consider leaving it a deposit if you're coming a long distance uh, but thank you so much for watching i appreciate it and come out and visit with us and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful ringgold georgia